Okay, so we wanted to show you how this rig that we use for our skeg that we added uh, several months ago, and we finally took it out several times now, and we've liked it. Initially, we were using these Velcro strips that uh, the adhesive didn't hold well on the uh, Pelican Catch 100. It, would, it came off. It was really hot that day, 100 plus degrees. So we tried finding another way. We didn't want to drill, and <coughs> instead we got one of these, which is a uh, skeg that we picked up from Amazon. The actual skeg itself, it's underneath here. Looks like this. All right, so there it is, right there. Okay, and what we do is we get these really strong, they're like 15 pound plus pressure that holds on to this, and it actually can hold a lot more. And it's got this really, really, uh, I guess, tight fitting Velcro fastener. And we tried this initially with the adhesive that came with the Velcro and it came off. Then we went with some shoe goo. Not the marine uh, goop, but the shoe goop that you use to fix your tennis shoes when you've worn them or uh, if you've got a break or whatnot, it works out really good. And what's nice is it's not permanent, it's semi permanent. It's on there, but I can take it off and rub this out and you won't even know that I put it on there. But for now, what we did is we got the Velcro here on the base of the skeg right here. And we'll just kind of line it up like so. And then we'll push hard on it. And then once you push really hard on it, then you put this baby on there. And it just slides right through. Okay, like that. And the difference is we took off the pins and we have this lanyard now right here. And it attaches to the back of the uh, handle on the Catch 100. Let me show you real quick right here. And what happens is, is if you hit bottom, it'll come off, no problem, but for the most part it stays on there and uh, works out really nice. And so far we've been pretty happy with it. Tracks nicely on this Pelican Catch 100. And uh, we'll think we'll be using this uh, going forward. All right, so hopefully uh, this gave you an idea on how this worked. Basically it's some Velcro, uh, the, the special snap kind. We'll put a link in it in the, in the video and then this base and then the skeg that slides onto it take off the pins and instead you're using a lanyard to hold it in place all right so that's an update from the uh no holes no glue skeg piece the only difference is we had to use some shoe goop instead